Hey everyone, we've got another tutorial for you today, and uh, surprise, surprise, it's on bees. Uh, this is something I had personally been struggling with uh, creating for quite a while, but um, big shout out to Starbound user uh, Flora Green, who helped me overcome uh, some of the difficulties I was having with this system. Um, so if you know me, if you've watched any of my streams, you know that I, I like bees a lot. Uh, I really, I've really enjoyed interacting with the system, but one thing that has always kind of made me abruptly screech to a halt uh, at a certain point was when I needed to identify the bees. Uh, and it was something that I knew, you know, it was, it was probably possible to automate uh, bee identification, but it was something that I really struggled with. I had tried a couple of times and could never really get it to work right, but Flora Green pointed me in the right direction. Um, gave me a short um, written tutorial on how to do that, and I am creating it in a video format. Uh, so, again, shout out to Flora Green. There is actually a link to the uh, pictorial tutorial that I used um, that they sent me. Um, so, you can find that link in the description. Um, but let's start with what you need, and you need this at a bare minimum. So this is probably not super early game, uh, probably early mid game, uh, where you're going to be able to acquire all this stuff. Um, but you're going to need the N electron microscope. I'm assuming the N stands for networked, because the N electron microscope has some logic inputs and outputs. And this is, this is the beauty of it all. Uh, this allows you to dictate uh, the system to pull unidentified bees and dump identified bees. Um, so you've got to use the networked uh, electron microscope. Additionally, you need a large apiary. Large apiaries have inputs and outputs built in, so you'll, uh, you'll need that. You will need a, uh, a not gate and an and gate and a countdown delay timer. You also need two ITDs and some storage container for the identified bees to get dumped into. Uh, Flora Green actually suggests um, some additional functionality in this system, but I am giving you the real bare bones system that will pull a bee, identify it, and dump it, because really, that's what you need. Um, but when you ch when you click on the the link in the description, I will also suggest adding an incinerator. Uh, so what you can do is you can look at your identified bees, take the best one, and then incinerate the rest. So if you want to do that additionally, it's in the picture. Uh, but I'm not going to include that. I figured, um, you know, if you're really struggling, the the video will get you through what you need. You can work from there. Uh, you'll need the countdown delay timer, I think I said that, and then, yep, uh, two ITDs and a storage bridge alongside the container that you want it, everything to dump into. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start with our large apiary. We've got our large apiary. Boom. The large apiary is going to get hooked up to an item transfer device. And what we want to do in our ITD which if you've done any ITD stuff with apiaries, you've uh, learned this by now, but we want, to, we want to tell the ITD not to pull from our queens, our drones, or our frames. So the way we do that is we say uh, the input container, slots one, two, three, four, and five, are not okay. You are not pulling from slots one, two, three, four, and five. So we have inverted that logic. Additionally, what we want to do is we want to take one of our uh, queens. So uh, you do need to you do need to have an ITD for each different type of queen. I suppose it's technically possible to do five queens. You could hook up five apiaries, um, but your electron microscope probably won't identify the the queens quick enough. So uh, we've got our five inputs being uh, inverted, so it's not going to pull from our five inputs, and it's only going to pull cybernetic queens that are in the actual output slots. Um, so we hook that up then to our electron microscope. And the way we're going to do this 
is we're going to, let's get to wiring mode, we're going to take the output of the apiary and put it into the input of our ITD and then the output of our ITD into the input of the electron microscope. So just to verify that this works, because who knows, I might, I might screw it up while we're recording this video. Um, we throw one in the output, okay, it does get taken, and uh, we should be able to grab it in a second. We should see a little research pop out. Yep. And there it is. The, the queen is identified. So we've got the first part of it working, but this is where uh, the system gets a little complicated, and this is where Flora Green's um, cleverness really... Um, really, really comes forth. So what we need to do now is we need to have uh, our NOT gate. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to take the top output of the networked electron microscope and we're going to connect that to our NOT gate. Then we're going to take the NOT gate and we're going to put that on an AND gate. So then what we also want to do is we want to take our countdown timer and we're going to, uh, so if we look here, we want um, one of these upper outputs, the partial complete fill, to go to the countdown timer. So we're going to take this one, put that on the countdown timer. Then what we want to do is we want to take the countdown timer and put it on the other side of that AND gate. So what this is going to say is the, the items will only be taken from the electron microscope if uh, this countdown timer uh, has elapsed. And we're going to set this to one second, actually. Uh, you could leave it at five, but it's unnecessary. The The countdown timer is really only in there as a slight buffer. Um, so one second is fine. I haven't had any issues. If you do have issues, if there's a lot of stuff going on with your game, maybe you want to set it to two seconds, but I think, uh, I think you'll find that that is plenty. So uh, this countdown timer has to elapse, and the other part, if you notice this highest output production status, um, the item inside has to be not being identified. That's what the not gate is doing. So once both of those conditions are filled, the item is not being identified, which means the scan is complete, and a full second has elapsed, then the AND gate uh, will output. And we're going to put that AND gate output uh, to an ITD. Uh, and then that ITD will go, oh, I don't have a space there. That ITD will go into our fridge. So where where did my storage bridge go? Uh, remember, storage bridges always need to go on the bottom left side of the container. So we'll take this and, and this is going to go into, um, that's the, this is the um, power, the power switch for the ITD. So once both of these things are true, it will power the ITD. And then what we want to do is we want to take our item network um, output and put that into the item network input of our ITD. Then from there, uh, we should be able to just take the output of the ITD and put it on the input. We shouldn't need to do anything else to that ITD because we've already dictated uh, the item types that are being pulled here. So, let's test this. Let's see if this works. And I'm crossing my fingers just as much as you are. So, the item gets pulled. See a little bit of research pop out when, uh, when the item is done scanning, and then we should see some powering up there. And there should be a queen in here. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. So, this is, it looks really complicated, but hopefully uh, being talked through the entire system uh, really helps. And uh, you know what I can also do, just to show you, you'll notice that items are not being pulled because there's already something in the electron microscope. 
And once, once the electron microscope is done, yep, you saw that one got pulled, uh, then it will pull the next one. So the only kind of downside to this system is you will have to make um, a separate system for every queen type that you want to be uh, identifying. Uh, and though I think you could hook up multiple apiaries to one of these um, and then just have the ITD set with multiple queen types, I don't think your electron microscope will be identifying fast enough. So uh, just be careful with that. You could try it with maybe two or three apiaries. Uh, if you don't mind kind of uh, a backup in your system where, you know, you've got a whole bunch of queens waiting to be pulled, uh, but your, your electron microscope just can't go fast enough. So there you go. That's the whole tutorial. Uh, again, the picture in the description might give you a hand a little bit more, and it also includes that uh, incinerator button where once I say, oh, this is the best one, I pull that one, and then there would be a little button where you can just nuke everything else in that container. So, hope you found this helpful, um, and thanks so much for watching. See you next time.